You know it's autumn when you have to take the artificial lights out. Today I want to teach you how to make acorn coffee. It's kind of my new obsession. It's sweet and it tastes like caramel along with a very nut-like taste. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. In the spirit of autumn, I will teach you how to make it. Then I will teach you my tricks too, because the first time I made it, it took me four hours and nobody has that time. Trick number one is be careful which acorns you take. The first thing that you do is you go into the forest and you collect acorns. The perfect acorn is very plump. You can see it's fresh and it shines. It has a really nice shine to it because it fell freshly from the tree. If it has any dents, if it has any holes, if it doesn't look as fresh, you may want to leave it there. You also want your acorns to be kind of heavy. If they're suspiciously light for their size, there's something inside munching away on the acorn. That is the acorn weevil. To be clear, it's the maggot and you don't want to carry any bugs into your home. After having collected your acorns, it should be a fairly good amount. You take them home and you crack them open with whatever utensil you have. And you take out the inside of the acorn and give it into a bowl. If they're really fresh, it might be hard to get them out. So my trick is to just set them aside for two days so that the inside turns kind of dry and it's easier to, to peel. And here comes my second trick. Everywhere on the internet they say you have to peel off the dark skin of the acorn. Supposedly the skin is really bitter, so that's why they suggest you have to peel them. First time I did that, it was kind of a masochistic job because it took me two hours. It's not really easy to peel these off. It's kind of more like surgery on an acorn. My trick is soak your acorns in scalding hot water for six to 24 hours. You don't need to peel off the skin and save yourself a mental breakdown. There are tannins in the acorns, which is why they taste very bitter while they're raw. They're not poisonous, they're just really bitter. After that, you will cut your acorns into small pieces and then you have put them in a pan and roast them without oil, just pure heat. Uh, the roasting process takes between 15 and 40 minutes depending on your heat. I start, I have an electric stove. I start up with a seven for five minutes and then turn it down to a five, four, but you can't walk away. You have to stir every four minutes or something because otherwise it will just burn your acorn pieces and I would be very sad. You roast them until they turn golden brownish and then you get out your blender. You put it into the blender and you blend it on the highest settings. If you don't have a blender, you can use a mortar and you just mince it as, as far as you can. And after that, you give it a second roast if you're in for it. And then you're done. You put it into a glass container. Now to the acorn coffee itself. The preparation is really easy. You just take your acorn powder and you take one teaspoon, one heaped teaspoon, put it into a tea strainer. And then you let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. You add a little bit of milk, just as you would with coffee. You add a pinch of cinnamon. It's so good. Hope you liked it. Tell me what you think about it and talk to you soon. Mwah.